Today we have one of DJI's most powerful controllers for their most advanced enterprise drones, the DJI RC Plus 2. It's an amazing piece of technology, but only if you know how to use it. So today we're starting a series of videos doing a very deep dive into every function, button, and menu for this controller. We'll have chapters below, so if you're looking for something specific, you'll be able to find it there. So let's get into it. When you first get the controller, the battery may be in hibernation mode, so make sure to charge it up first. Once you do, press the power button once, then again, and long hold it to turn it on. You'll see the battery status here, with each light being around 25% of the battery. And as for the blinking light on the left, blinking blue means it's linking to an aircraft, blinking yellow is a low battery warning, blinking cyan means the sticks aren't centered, and blinking red is a critically low battery. If it's a solid red light, that means the aircraft isn't connected. And a solid green is the aircraft is connected. And a solid yellow means a firmware update failed. And the status indicator over here here shows if your aircraft is connected so if it's solid red that means it's not and then if it's green it is and if it's flashing white that means the aircraft is being controlled by another person and that's a reminder you can have a dual controller setup with this remote you'll also be able to see the exact battery percentage of the controller right up here in this corner and also a secondary battery will appear right here if you have one. And this is your home screen. And if you swipe down, you'll have notifications on the left. And if you wanna get rid of any, just swipe to the left and they're cleared out. And you'll also see SD card settings in this side. And on top, you will have the date and time. And this button will show you all the windows you have open. So long pressing will bring you to a screen with all available networks. So from here, you can also connect to a hotspot on your phone if you're out in the field. And you can also install certificates for additional security. On the Wi-Fi network you're connected to, you do have the option of sharing the network with the QR code. And you'll get some other things like the signal strength and other settings as well. Under Bluetooth, you can use this to connect devices to the controller like a phone or Bluetooth earbuds or AirPods. You can also receive files to the controller. And airplane mode will turn off both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And with Do Not Disturb, you won't get any notifications, which is a big help when you're trying to navigate tight spaces or trying to stay focused on a subject. And if you long press it, you can also set schedules. So it could be things like when you're sleeping, during an event, or work hours. Now critical notifications will still appear and any missed notifications can still be found by swiping down on the screen. So under screen recording, you can see everything you record on the screen. It's really helpful if you're trying to remember what altitude you were at, or if you just want a video of what you were doing. And if you long press, it'll bring you to your screen recordings. From there, you can watch videos. So you can loop the video or stream it and a few other settings found in this menu. There is audio, so if you want to narrate anything, you'll be able to hear that as well. You'll also be able to trim videos and get info for when it was taken. And this button lights up your six side buttons, which is really useful if you're in a really dark situation. And screenshot will just take a screenshot and if you long press it, it will also bring you to the gallery. And for brightness settings, you just adjust this slider here, and then you press this A for automatic brightness setting. And the slider below is for volume, so the speakers can actually get decently loud. And this one is the mute button right here. So that way you will mute beeping notifications. So as long as you're fine with that from a safety standpoint, that's how you do it. And for the next video, we'll be going over the settings menu. So thanks for watching.